All right, welcome to another installment of Micro Center Shows You How. Uh, today, what we're going to learn is how to take our shows from our TiVo, uh, send them to our Mac, and then from there, allow us to transfer it to our iPhone, iPod, Zune, at PSP, whatever we want. If you're like me, you love your TiVo. You love all the shows on your TiVo, but you really can't watch them all because you record too many. You want to take them on the go. So what will you need? Of course, you're going to need a TiVo branded DVR, Series 2 or higher, a wireless or wired router. If you are going to go wireless, you'll need the adapter for the TiVo, G or N, an Apple computer, of course, uh, the iTiVo software, which is free, and iTunes should be on your Mac already, um, and that will allow you to transfer to the iOS devices. Um, and other than that, if you have any other software that transfers to your PSP, for instance, your Zune, uh, well, Zune really doesn't work on the Mac, but any other type of device, you can use it then. So how is this going to work? Uh, your shows are on your TiVo, which is hooked up to your TV. It's going to be connected to the router somehow, whether it be wireless or wired. And the iTiVo software is going to be on your Mac. The iTiVo software is going to find the TiVo. It's going to find the shows. It's going to take it into the computer and do all the conversion for you. And then it will allow you to save it to whatever device you want. First things first, let's do some preparation. So be prepared. We're going to go to TiVo's website itself, so TiVo.com, and log into my account on the top right-hand side. Uh, once you do that, you're going to see this page. Um, on the right-hand side, click on View Media Access Key. Um, this is an important set of numbers and write this number down. Now this is my number, well, it's not really my number, but write whatever number you see on your website um, because this is an important part of your TiVo and how it finds it. Go back to my account and click on change DVR options. Um, from there, click on allow transfers and enable video downloads. Click on both of those, make sure they're both enabled. I also recommend clicking on uh, TiVo's desktop software. It's free. Now this doesn't allow you to do transferring. What this allows you to do is um, allow you to view your photos and music on your TiVo from your computer. Um, it's actually pretty cool. So all your music and photos on your, your Mac will be shown on the TiVo itself. So it's kind of nice. So let's get started. Hopefully you got the Mac address. You got all that information that I had you do. First things first, let's open the web, whether it be Chrome or Safari. Go to, I or just search for iTivo, so I-T-I-V-O. That'll be the first result in any of the search icons. Click on that, um, and that will bring you to this page. Um, and this page will give you some kind of basic features of what iTivo does. It has a cool little icon there of, within an iPhone. This is one of the, the, the screenshots of what the application looks like. So on the very top, we're going to click Downloads. Click Downloads. Click on the actual like release, not the beta. Uh, don't worry about some of that beta software. Use the released version and then click and the, just a basic DMG and install that. Once it's installed, uh, one of the first questions it's going to ask is for the media access key. Hopefully you wrote it down. I want you to pop it in there now and that'll be good. Now, once we go from there, we can actually play with some of the preferences in the iTivo software itself. So notice where it'll say change location. I chose my desktop and this is the formats. So if you have a different type of format, let's say you want to send it to an iPod or an Apple TV or you want to send it to um, a Zune or a PSP, whatever you want, you can choose that and it'll have the best type of compression rate for you. Um, you can also have it sync directly with iTunes if you want to, if you're using one of the iOS devices. It has some commercial skipping. You can play with that on your own accord. Some scheduling if you want it to go at night, for instance. If you have a lot of shows that you just want to pop your iPod in and get it the next morning. So once you find ever preferences um, and iTivo is running fine, it will look like this. So notice all of the shows on my TiVo. My wife is a little bit better at maintaining her shows and deleting them when they're done. I guess I don't as much. Uh, so you're going to see all the different shows that I love. Um, we're, today we're going to choose for, our expert, for an example, Mad Men. Um, so notice when I click on Mad Men on the right-hand side, it shows a whole bunch of information. It shows the actors and actresses in the show. It shows a brief description. It shows all of that right there. We're going to click Download. And on the bottom, you're going to notice kind of a progress bar. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. So notice it's about two and a half gigs, so 2,600 megabytes. Um, and notice it says about 47 seconds left. 
All right, now that the show is downloaded, you're going to see it on the desktop. Uh, we told it to save on the desktop, so it'll automatically play in QuickTime. Uh, in QuickTime, you'll be able to see it in kind of a small screen here. Uh, we told it to save in the iPhone format, so notice how it's not full screen, because again, the iPhone is a smaller screen specifically. So if we were to tell it to save in the Apple TV format, it'll probably have been much better, higher resolution, but a bigger file. Um, so we can skip back and forth, as you saw there, just like any type of movie. The commercials are still there, mind you. Um, so let's close QuickTime here. Let's open it up in iTunes. So we're going to drag it to iTunes. Um, and we're going to open up iTunes to see it actually transferring inside there. Now keep in mind, you can have it automatically sync to iTunes. You can have it automatically sync to your device after the actual uh video is actually in iTunes, which is pretty cool. You can have it syncing at night um, when your iPhone is plugged in or your iPod Touch, and in the morning, everything will be done, ready for you, so you can walk out the door with your video in your device. Um, again, this is just kind of showing you within iTunes of how the video plays, pretty self-explanatory. Now keep in mind, this show is sometimes saved in the TV show section and also in the movie section. I, I have not seen the rhyme or reason of where it actually saves and why, um, but once you find it, uh, the next time you hook up your iOS device, you'll be able to say, okay, I want you to sync with just this video or all your movies for that matter. So hopefully you learned some things today. Um, hopefully you learned a new trick, uh, some, cool, some cool software that's free. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. I'd be glad, glad to help out. Have a great day.